One of the legal services with a long-term impact that IDEAS offers are the capacity building activities and educational workshops that we offer to victims of severe human rights violations. Our educational trainings are primarily directed at the relatives of victims who have gone unaccounted for and the collectives that dedicate themselves to a ceaseless search. All through 2021, IDEAS continued its commitment to their cause by making sure that they are backed by the right information, the tools and a strong skill set that can serve them in safeguarding their rights and offer practical assistance in looking for their loved ones. Our organization also recognizes that human rights abuses are endemic and that corrupt instruments and practices within the law enforcement need to be actively eradicated. To deter further crimes and to bring to justice the perpetrators of these crimes, our organization also mentors authorities and social service providers to build justice system capacity. Last year, IDEAS realized a series of specialized workshops with the intention to have a profound and positive impact on the ways in which human rights abuses are investigated and prosecuted. In 2021, our organization also realized a series of educational workshops that address the practical means for justice that the relatives of those who have gone unaccounted for have at their disposal in Mexico. The workshops were taught online and imparted practical knowledge on the regulatory framework, urgent actions and other domestic legal proceedings. In the states of Nayarit and Veracruz, we also realized a series of psychosocial activities. During these activities, we invite victims and collectives to engage in building creative coping strategies and to engage in peer support. These workshops provide spaces for them to unburden their hurt, their prolonged grief and the uncertainty they grapple with in not knowing the whereabouts of their loved ones. We also put together a workshop titled I Found Them, What Happens Next? which touches upon a commonly overlooked need for many of the collectives. The workshop offered up a forensic framework to understand the different procedures through which the remains of their loved ones would be analyzed and identified in the case that they were found. Finally, we also completed a total of four digital literacy and security workshops. These were targeted at collectives on how to administer and guarantee their cybersecurity as active human rights defenders. If you'd like to know more about any of the specific activities, feel free to visit our website or to look at our annual report. Any of the educational material used during these activities are also available to download from our website. Here at IDEAS, we believe that part and parcel of strengthening human rights and preventing violations is to get educated on the subject and to get acquainted with both the national and international legislation. Where domestic legal proceedings fail to address human rights abuses, there are mechanisms and procedures available at an international level. With that in mind, IDEA strives to maintain a constant output of publications that circulate information on regional, national and international regulations and treaties. A well-corroborated dissemination of standards fueled by our organization's findings from on the ground can have a significant impact. In 2021, one of our achievements was the publication of this report. The publication provides accessible and concise information on the standards and the jurisprudence held by the different bodies of the United Nations in the context of the many people that have gone missing in Mexico. The findings from that report reflect and impart knowledge on six years of strategic litigation advanced by our organization. The publication was released in an effort to place the pervasive forms of human rights violations that afflict the country on an international agenda to make sure that international standards apply in the local authority searches and investigations and to make sure that both victims and their family have access to international and national pathways to justice. In 2021, we also published a report on the importance of contextual analysis as established in the international jurisprudence on human rights. The publication underlines the significance for human rights abuses, and particularly in instances when victims have gone unaccounted for, to be tackled through a contextual analysis, which is particularly urgent when these cases are part of a larger reality of systematic and pervasive violence. Each of these reports are available to download from our website, and we invite you to take a look at our annual report and to keep an eye on our social media if you want to keep up to date of any newly released publications. At IDEAS, we campaign for systemic change, to influence policy making and to address the root causes and repercussions of human rights abuses. Next to our work on the ground in facilitating legal change, we stand for human rights and evidence-based advocacy, 
and I'd like to tell you a little bit more about the biggest outcomes we achieved through our advocacy actions of last year. It's undeniable that the COVID-19 pandemic has disproportionately affected those of a unique vulnerability, and that women and girls were at an increased risk of violence, injustice, and inequality. To spotlight this problematic, in March of 2021, we called a meeting, which was attended by Mexico's National Commission to Prevent and Eradicate Violence Against Women, to monitor how the government of the Mexican state is complying with their obligations towards women at an increased risk and as decreed by the gender alert issued in that area. We also held a meeting with the UN's High Commissioner for Human Rights to share observations on how to assess the real impact that a gender alert issued in a specific area can have on reducing violence against women in Mexico. We also advocate for an alignment to international law standards to foster an environment in which the relatives of victims that have gone unaccounted for have better access to truth and justice. For national authorities to comply with international standards, it requires the drafting of a protocol that establishes the right guidelines for that alignment to be met. In 2021, IDEAS repeatedly approached Mexico's Interior Ministry to coordinate on the initial stages of that protocol's write-up. Eventually, we developed and convened a network of other civil society representatives and decision makers to establish a first draft of the protocol. Violence against Mexico's women and girls also remains a systematic reality that is deeply rooted in the inadequate institutional responses that can help in preventing and eliminating it. The country's authorities not only lack the capacity to react from a gender-informed perspective, but also to take into account the patterns, recurrencies, and different complexities with which that violence occurs. To advocate for a gender-informed perspective that could guide national state attorneys' offices and search commissions, we realized a series of actions. We instigated a meeting with the state attorney's department specialized in contextual analysis of the Mexican state to make sure that they are actively implementing a gender-informed perspective in the investigation plans of all the missing women under their jurisdiction. We've also maintained close ties with specialized attorney's offices to make sure that they're following through on their investigations and proceedings while taking into account our recommendations through a gendered lens. If you'd like to know more about other advocacy actions, feel free to have a look at our website or to take a look at our annual reports. To find out more about the work realized by IDEAS, I'd like to tell you a little bit about the most important milestones achieved by our nonprofit organization in 2021. Amplifying the voices of the victims that we work with is at the heart of what we do here at IDEAS. And in Mexico, thousands of women have taken on the voice of their daughters and sons that are unaccounted for. IDEAS abets the restless struggle of mothers and collectives in search of their loved ones. We drive cultural change and work towards justice by placing their testimonies, their stories and their needs at the front line of our fight. And as much as they bring an unstoppable force in finding their loved ones, they are often up against a structural impunity, insufficient actions and indifferent reactions from the authorities. IDEAS targets those that have been forced to take over the state's duties by helping them build a fundamental skill set and get access to the right information so that they are able to take on an active role in the judicial proceedings that personally affect them. On Mother's Day of last year, May 10, 2021, IDEAS continued its campaign De Victimas a Defensoras, which centers the invaluable work that defines them as mothers and active human rights defenders. The campaign offers up a platform for them to speak their truth and to continue onwards on the path to getting access to a truth that is too often withheld and rightfully theirs. Similarly, in 2019, IDEAS produced a documentary titled Open the Earth, directed by the filmmaker Alejandro Suno. The documentary is an intimate and painful portrait of a tireless struggle towards justice and truth. It pictures Perla Damian, mother to Victor Alvarez Damian, who has been unaccounted for since 2013. In 2021, in light of internationally recognized campaigns, we realized a series of screenings at different locations throughout Mexico, from the National Center for Human Rights, the Mexican Senate, contemporary art galleries, and on a cultural day to commemorate the eight years since eight young boys went missing from a neighborhood in the state of Veracruz. The documentary offers a window into a work that is constantly in progress, the joint efforts, the protests, the search, and the remembrance of the mothers looking for their loved ones. If you want to know more about the reach of each of our campaigns, you can visit our website or our social media pages. 
By getting informed, you can help keep the truth of the victims that we work with alive.